Farmers in the Salon Sugar Company's Pellwater Unit's settlements recently alleged that the company has failed to grind the sugarcane harvest during the Maha season and the situation has arisen due to frequent malfunctions of the at the factory. Salon Sugar Company is a completely state-owned company operating under the Ministry of Plantation Industries and Export Agriculture. Salon Sugar produces sugar, ethanol and other manufacturing plants at the Pelwater and Savanagala factories in the Monaragala district. The two institutions employ over 6,000 people and more than 12,000 farmers are engaged in sugarcane cultivation in connection with these two units. In addition, Salon Sugar Company has indirectly provided livelihood opportunities to around 30,000 families in the Uva Wellasa area. About 17 varieties of sugarcane have been cultivated in an area of 10,000 hectares in the Pellwater unit. The Pellwater unit harvested 323,000 tons of sugarcane in 2020 and produced 23,582 metric tons of sugar, contributing to the overall sugar consumption in the country. It has also continued to produce 5.5 million liters of ethanol. The Pellwater unit has added more than 5,000 acres of new land for cultivation, targeting the year 2021. Accordingly, it is expected to harvest 480,000 tons of sugarcane, produce 38,000 metric tons of sugar and produce 7.5 million liters of ethanol domestically. By October 11, 2021, they are crushing 414,000 metric tons of sugarcane, surpassing last year's production capacity and reaching the relevant targets. Retired Major Vajira Kumaratunga, Chief Operating Officer of the Pellwater Unit, said that the Pellwater Unit, which had incurred a loss of around 1,200 million rupees in 2019, expects to achieve a net profit of over 200 million rupees by the end of 2021. Also, while everything was being planned and successfully grinded to achieve the expected targets for the Maha season, due to technical faults in one of the generators, the daily crushing process could not be carried out for a period of five days. He also says that there was a delay in transporting the harvest to the factory. However, with the technical assistance of the Salon Electricity Board, steps are being taken to repair the inactive generator as soon as possible and crushing sugarcane would be continued using three generators rented from the CEB which costed 1.8 million rupees, he said. Accordingly, the farmers have nothing to worry about as the crushing process would start within 12 hours after harvesting and it is expected that sugarcane harvest of the settlement farmers would be completely crushed by the end of October, he added. We are here at the power station at the Salon Sugar Company Pellwater. Power needed to run this factory is generated here. We have two power turbines that can produce 1.5 megawatts. 2021 has been a record-breaking year so far. We were able to harvest tons of sugarcane. We run those through our crusher machines. The Pellwater unit of Lanka Sugar Company has the capacity to grind around 600,000 tons of sugarcane per year. It is 200,000 tons of sugarcane in the Yala season and 400,000 tons in the Maha season. However, at the beginning of this year we received only 30,000 tons of sugarcane in the Yala season. With the arrival of our new administrator in the Maha season, Overall sugarcane harvest was significantly improved since we encouraged farmers to cultivate sugarcane and to apply fertilizers in time. If we compare with last year, we received only 30,000 tons of sugarcane for the whole year of 2020. In 2019 it was 323,000. <laughs> But this year we have already grinded 370,000 in the Maha season alone. Up to date, 400,000 tons of sugarcane have been grinded. According to the data provided by our agriculture unit, we estimated that there would only be a sugarcane harvest around 450,000 tons. 
However, with the ongoing rains, the sugarcane harvest has increased. At present it is said that there would be 480,000 tons of sugarcane to grind. So there are 80,000 more tons to be grinded. It only takes 20 days for us to finish this load. We started the sugarcane grinding process on April 28th this year. In other years we start in mid-May. Knowing that the harvest would increase, the grinding period was extended. The daily grinding capacity of this Pellwater unit is 3,000 tons. As the sugarcane yield increased, we lengthened the grinding period was extended until 20th this month. But at the start of this season, one of the two 35-year-old turbines had a power failure. There was a problem with the winding of the alternator. We have sent it to repair with the special assistance of the electricity board. We have also rented three diesel generators owned by the CEB to restart grinding. We were unable to carry out the grinding process in those 15 days and we had more than 15 tons piled up to grind. But we then changed the settings on the machines to increase efficiency. The grinding capacity of our machines is 600,000 tons per year. This capacity has never been exceeded so far for 35 years. Therefore, there was no need to increase the capacity of this machine. Now, with the vision of the new administration to improve sugarcane cultivation, we now have a need to increase the capacity of this machine. We hope come up with plans to increase the capacity of the factory within the next two years. Then we can grind more than 3,000 tons a day. In addition, the chairman gave permission for us to purchase a new diesel generator to face such errors that would occur in future. The machine will be reinstalled here before the end of this month. It is a successful solution that we have come up with to ensure that there is no problem in the grinding process in the future. When the person management took over Lanka Sugar Company, Pellatta Ito Sector lost of 1.2 billion. With the corrective decision and direction given by the His Excellency the President Gotabe Rajapaksan, Honorable State Minister Janak Wakmura, paved the way to bring this company to profitable venture during the last two years. Mainly as to their decision of preventing the importation of ethanol and brown sugar. We commenced many development projects during the last two years, such as extending land area and cultivating more than 4,000 hectares, new machinery purchases for smoothly operation, especially land preparation, distribution of fertilizer and chemicals at the correct time for applying to the cane field, spending high cost on local and importation of items to sugar distill practice for the development as to their new technology. Increase in cane price, new irrigation projects such as lakes, ponds, gallamura project and sprinkles, tourism, mango and turmeric projects as an essential requirement of a tractor cane yard was built, farm and crop insurance scheme done, drinking water facilities to settler state farmer families, housing complex and office building renovation work done, beautification work within the company premises, many welfare activities of to the farmers and employees, promotion for stagnated employees for many years, comments being the held up cost of living payment with three stages to all employees. It is proud to announce as a result of the all about the work, we are reaching the harvest as we expected at this moment. <laughs> Mehi ikka wara kete tractor ha, lorry ha ta tumsi ya tumsi visi pahak kitera nawata ta bhi hai ki. Meke visi se ma pi meke bala. Today we are at the lorry and tractor yard of the Salon Sugar Company's Pellwater unit. About 300 tractors and lorries can be parked here at a time. Purpose of this yard is to facilitate tractor and lorry drivers from afar to take a short break and drive back to the sugarcane factories. They have toilets, latrines and facilities, and a canteen for meals 24 hours a day. The drivers had to wait a long time here, especially with the recent breakdown in the factory. Now facilities have been arranged to deliver to the sugarcane factory within an hour upon the arrival at the company. Now there is no traffic. Sugarcane can be unloaded systematically 24 hours a day.
days, the farmer had complained regarding the case of Pedili. The reason for that, in this year, we have estimated 180,000 metric tons of cane after 15 years. So we were planned to cast it from April to November. Meanwhile, the factory turbine was break down and it was recovered within five, five days by replacing the generators. Uh, meantime, farmer thought that they were not able to give their cane to factory due to this situation. Further, farmers scared the factory could be shut down and uh, due to corona pandemic also, finally majority of the farmers were harvested suddenly and taken to factory at once. At presently, 167,000 metric tons of cane uh, have been supplied to factory. There are a commercial cane production section in Laka Sugar Company, namely Settler State, Nipples Estate, Outdoor Section and ISFO Section. The Settler Outdoor and ISFO Section sugar cane have been cultivated by farmers and Nipples Estate is our own estate. In year 2021, we have planned to crush 480,000 metric tons of cane and in the last year it was 320,000. This is 160,000 metric tons of achievement than last year. Therefore, we have planned to start Maha campaign as early as possible from the month of April and it will be expanded up to month of November. Presently, Lanka Sugar Company has crushed 410,000 metric tons of cane already and a balanced palm cane to be completed before end of the season. Lanka Sugar Company has given opportunity to farm again by stopping harvesting of our own estate also. Currently, currently the sugar has operated smoothly and uh, finally we have achieved the, our company goals at the end of the season.